and welcome to the Rod Laver Arena and what a fantastic evening we have in store for you of course before Novak Djokovic and uh, Kei Nishikori take to center stage we've got a lovely introduction into the Australian Tennis Hall of Fame Rex Hartwig will be the man on this day of national pride please welcome to center court the cast of the musical Georgie Girl Celebrating the lives of legendary Australian band, The Seekers. Here is the cast to perform The Seekers' iconic song, I Am Australia. That's right, it's not The Seekers. I come from the dream time, from the dusty red soil plains. I am the ancient heart. Keeper of the plain, I stood upon the rocky shore. I watched the tall ships come. For forty thousand years, I've been the first Australian. I'm the daughter of a digger who saw. A child of the depression I saw the good times come I'm a bushy, I'm a battler I am Australian We are one But we are many And from all the lands on earth we come We'll share a dream Sing with one voice I am You are We are Australia I'm the hot wind From the desert I'm the black soil Of the plains I'm the mountains And the valleys I'm the drought And flooding rain Australia, we are one, but we are many, and from all the lands on earth we come, we'll share a dream and sing with one voice. Of course, 26th of January marks Australia Day. Anniversary of the 1788 arrival of the first fleet of British ships at Port Jackson. My name is Rob Cunning. We've got Josh Eagle alongside me for the Hall of Fame ceremony that is going to take place. I mentioned Rex Hartwick to be inducted on this famous day in Australian history. He'll be joining the greats of Australian tennis, the likes of Rod Laver, Ken Rosewell, John Newcomb, of course, all their bronze busts we see around the Garden Square. Uh, really nice touch that uh, Tennis Australia have done there, Josh. Absolutely, Robbie, and good evening. It's a very special day here, Australia Day. It's uh, been one of great celebration all around the city and all around this magnificent country. 
Now, lots of barbecues going on and uh, had the good fortune of playing golf today with uh, an Australian of the Year, so that makes it even better. Yeah, that's right, Pat Rafter. He's, uh, he's also in this Hall of Fame as well, and his contribution to tennis has been significant. Ladies and gentlemen, a very pleasurable duty to perform here on Rod Laver Arena on Australia Day 2016. We will now induct one of Australia's great former champions into the Australian Tennis Hall of Fame. He was an outstanding doubles player. The six-time Grand Slam champion had perfect ground strokes and volleys. In singles, he was ranked number five in the mid-1950s and was a member of Australia's Davis Cup team from 1953 to 1955, playing in eight ties and held a 12 to one win-loss record. I speak of none other than Mr. Rex Hartwig. Would you now please welcome to Rod Laver Arena, Rex and Madge Hartwig, along with the president of Tennis Australia, Mr. Stephen Healy. What a fantastic honor for Rex Hartwick. So many great players have hailed from this country over the years. Well, good evening, everyone, and a very happy Australia Day. It is my great pleasure to announce the induction of Rex Hartwig into the Australian Tennis Hall of Fame. Rex played in our glorious era of tennis in the early 1950s. He won six Grand Slam titles, four in doubles, two in mixed. He was a very accomplished singles player as well, reaching the final of the Australian and the US singles championships. He had an extraordinary record in Davis Cup, winning two Davis Cups for Australia and losing just one rubber out of the 13 he played. He was a modest and unassuming man and embodied all that was great about Australian tennis at the time. Congratulations, Rex. I was always great mates with Lou Hoth and Ken Rose or Merv Rose, but he's, he lives in Cots Harbour, so I don't see him that often. But uh, Lou was a great mate of mine. When we first played together, we spent hours at night working out tactics and if you get the ball here, don't, for God's sake, don't hit it there. You say, why? <laughs> he was regarded as the best in the world. Well, tennis was marvellous because I met my wife through tennis. She was quite a good tennis player. And we've been married for 63 years now. Have these marvellous kids. But the thing is with tennis, I mean, in all my travels, no matter where I've been, what, what nationality, what colour, what language, you always met nice people connected with tennis. And where else can you find that? I'd now like to invite Rex to come forward to unveil his Australian Tennis Hall of Fame bust, which will be on display here at Melbourne Park. myself. <laughs> Barbara, what a marvellous job you did. I'm very pleased with that. Unbelievable how you can cast, make it look just like me. It's great that uh, when he gets put in the garden, he'll be with my old tennis mates in Lou Hode, Ken Rosal, Merv Rose, Neil Fraser and Frank Sedgman. We have a lot of silent time together. To the Australian Hall of Fame group, Des Healy, thank you for the honour of being inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's really a thrill. Thank you very much. I'd also like to thank my wife of 63 years, my children, 
Lee. What's that? My children, Lee, Lorraine, Gretchen, Sherry, Grant, and Janelle, and Vicky, and all the other grandchildren. We have quite a contingent here. Thank you very much. Mr. Healy, once again, thank you very much. It is a great honour and privilege to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. I'm absolutely thrilled and wrapped. Feel a bit humble. Thank you very much. And a lovely photo of Rex with the bust, as I said, will be on display here at Melbourne Park with the other members of the Australian Tennis Hall of Fame. Australian tennis does such a good job of honouring their past champions and their past greats. And as Josh and I were saying off air, it's, it's so nice that you've got this kind of tournament in your own backyard to, to showcase all these great tennis players of the past. Absolutely, Robbie, it means a lot. There's a great tradition of tennis here in Australia. Australia has nearly won the Davis Cup 30 times. Uh, it, means, it means a whole lot to every single generation, and it's up to that generation to just pass on a little bit more knowledge to the up-and-coming ones. Congratulations, Congratulations once again to Rex, Rex Hartwig. Happy, Happy Australia Day. Day. And ladies Congrats and gentlemen, now to sing the national anthem, please welcome back to court the cast of Georgie Girl, Pippa Grandison, Mike McLeish, Philip Lowe, and Glaston Loft. to Craig Willis, MC of course, who has been here for so many years and uh, now that uh, those formalities are out of the way, nice to touch base with history. It's the modern generation that will now take to center stage the best player on the planet against Special K, Japan's finest. And it uh, wasn't he in fine form two days ago and of course in stock contrast it was a serbian who struggled josh absolutely and i was very fortunate to call kane ishikori up against joe wilfred songer i've seen i've called a few of his matches this week and i've been super impressed with kane ishikori he is a man on a mission and he's looking very good here 
And you're absolutely spot on. Novak Djokovic, maybe just the wake-up call that he needed. Going the distance in five sets with Jules Simon, who is the ultimate backboard. Does not miss a ball and actually frustrated Novak Djokovic into a lot of unforced errors, overplaying the, the drop shot. Well documented. But look, I think he'll be a lot better for that hit out and I expect him to be favourite tonight. Uh, but having said that, Kai Nishikori is not without a chance. He does have to serve well, and in particular his second serve, because his second serve sometimes gets a little bit in the middle of the box, and Novak Djokovic will eat that up for breakfast if that's the case. It is a different kind of matchup. 